Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. We are here. We are here. All right. You know why I do that. Screenshot purposes. All right. Let me put the link and then I'm going to, um, oh, did I send that to myself? Do I have the link? Uh, I don't think I sent it to myself. All right. Let me get the link for you guys to join the show. That would be nice. That would be nice if you guys had the link so you could be a guest. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, cousins, shout out where you're watching from. Shout out your location. Shout out where you're watching from. All right. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay. Shout out where you're watching from so we could do that. Kendra, you're late. I'm not late. I start this show at 7. I start this show five minutes after the hour on purpose because I know I'm going. I'm going from, you guys know that I go from Facebook to Instagram and then I come here. So platform to platform, platform. And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Sometimes I can need a little break in between. Y'all, y'all a lot. Shit. I've been needing breaks, child. Ain't like y'all, y'all, y'all do cause a girl to, to need a break. Okay. So the link to join as a guest is in the comment section on YouTube. Now I'm put in the comment section on Facebook. St. Louis is in the building. Tennessee is in the building. Um, all right. If you want to be a guest. Pen. All right. If you want to be a guest, the link is in the comment section on YouTube and also Facebook. If you want to be a guest for the show, if you want to be a guest for the show, the link is in the comment section. Let me keep seeing, um, keep shouting out where you're watching from. So we got, um, Mississippi, Texas, Illinois, Ken <laughs> um, Baltimore, um, South Carolina, Andy, Houston, North Carolina, Australia, Arizona, Maryland, New York, California, Philly, Virginia, Ohio, Canada, Alabama, New Haven, Connecticut, uh, New York again, Cleveland, China, Trinidad. All right, did I put the link? I put the link. I'm waiting for you guys to push the link to join as a guest. Um, Atlanta, VA. Oh, I hope I have the right link. Do I have the right link? Let's make sure I got the right link, child. Yeah, I have the right link. All right. Um, Texas, St. Louis, New Jersey, Vegas, um, Phoenix, Toronto, Bloomfield, New Jersey, Virginia. All right, it's never taking this long for somebody to request. So let me make sure I put, oh, I did do the right one. Jacksonville, Florida, now it's coming in. Mississippi, Kara, show me your room, Kara. Kara, show me the room. Show me the room, you gotta show me the room. So like, just take your phone and swing, swing it so I can see the other side of the room. Okay. So like, to you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Is your name Kiera? Yes. Kiera, where are you calling me from? Houston. Okay, is there an echo? Do you yeah. have another phone? Yeah, hold on. Let me turn the TV off. Yeah. Okay. Kiera, where are you calling me from? Or just mute it if you want to see yourself. Just mute it. Okay, is there an echo? Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let me turn the Okay, I'm ready. All right, we got Kiera. Hello. Hi. It's How Kira. you doing? Good. Good. It's Kira. Kira. Okay, Kira. Kira, uh -huh. you, how old are you, love? I'm 39. Have you been here before? I tried to get in, but no, this is my first time getting in. Okay, the cousins be telling. The cousins are like, she here before. No, What's this is my first time. Okay. <laughs> first time. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. What do you do for a living? Um, right now I just got my master's, so I'm like taking a little break, but I got a master's in uh, business administration. Okay. How do you pay your bills? Huh? How do you pay your bills? Um, investments. Let's just okay. put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any kids? Uh, no. No kids. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, have you ever been married? Nope. Never been married. <laughs> All right. So we got Kiara, Houston, Texas, 39, cancer has a master's in business administration, currently uh -huh. taking a break from work, um, uh -huh. pays her bills off of investments. Uh -huh. No kids, never married. Nope. What kind of man you looking for, girl? 
Um, I would like a confident man, a, a generous man, a considerate man, a man who knows what he wants, a kind man, and um, someone who is has goals. Like they don't stop even after they complete one, they're on to the next. Like ambitious. Let me say that. Yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, I haven't thought about this. I'm sorry. Hold my camera, please, because I'm shaking, girl. I'm nervous. Who are you with? My friend. Oh, what is he? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm sorry. Y'all in the back question? together? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What was the question? So you and your it's a girl? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this what is my you friend for like her? 26 years. This is my best friend. Like we've been knowing each other forever. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. What are your deal breakers? Um. So deal breakers would be unhygienic, uh, inconsiderate, um, rude, and um, I guess that would go with the hygiene too, like the mouth, high, uh, bad teeth. That would that would go with the hygiene. Okay. Yeah. Bad mm -hmm. um, should he look a certain way? Um, no, I don't have any. I mean, as long as you're about five eleven and up. Okay, five eleven and up. Yeah. What about money? You did mention generous. Um, yes. Uh, so I realized that just because you have money doesn't mean you're generous. Just because a man has money doesn't mean that he wants to share. It with you so um i would say just enough to take care of himself and to spend you know and to spend. live life i like to travel i like to shop i like to go out and you know do things when i'm bored so you want him to pay for like your shopping and all of that no i'm saying um he just has to have enough to do those things now oh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not on like, oh, you have to take me shopping, but if you want to, I mean that's a plus. I'm not gonna say no. Oh, I'm not gonna say no. Yeah. All right, Kira, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, yeah. Hold it for me. Oh, show my body. Okay. okay. All right, we we'll see you, boo. All right, Kira. Kira, <laughs> you're 39. What's the yes. age range you would date? You actually look younger than 39 to me. Thank you. Um Age range would be 30, I want to say 38 to 58. Okay, you'll go to 58. Because the mm -hmm. guy has kids. Um, as long as they're grown. As long as they're grown. So you want kids one day? Um, I do not. Okay. I don't. When was your last relationship? Um, December last year. December last year. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I don't answer. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I could work on um, communica communicating things quicker so they don't escalate and build up. Um, what else? Um, patience. Work on my patience. And um, what else? Hmm. Guess I have to think about three things I can work on. You said, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think about it. Um, what's something I could work on? Say. Mm -hmm. No, it's just patience. Mainly just patience. Mainly just patience. Mainly just patience. Yeah. All right. And why would it gotta be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm kind. I'm I'm considerate as well. Everything that I ask for, I can bring to the table. And um, I think I'm nurturing, I'm loving. Um, and once I get to that point of liking you, because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't just freely like, you know, men. But once I get to know you and I start liking you, then I'm a very lovable and kind and considerate and passionate and, you know, all of that. She's all of that. Mm -hmm. All right, should he be in Houston, Texas? I prefer, yeah. I prefer that he be in Houston. Uh, if not, like no further than Louisiana or is that New Mexico. Okay. Ooh, yeah. All right. So we got Kiara, Houston, Texas, 39, is a cancer. She has her master's degree, currently not working. Um, but that's my choice, correct? Yeah. She um makes money from her investments. 
No kids. Be 38 to 58, she said. And mm -hmm. be in Houston. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, he can check on my Instagram. Uh, it's Kirara underscore X. So spell it out for the cousins. It's K-E-R-A-R-A -A -A underscore X. Underscore X? Mm -hmm. All right, boo. Will you keep me posted how it goes? Okay. Thank you so much, Kendra. You're doing great. Congratulations with all your thank success. You. I wish you the best. Oh, thank you, boo. Thank you, right. baby. Okay. Bye, boo. Bye-bye. <laughs> Um, you guys just saw, I got to charge my phone. So give me a second. Oh, this is, I didn't want to do it in the middle of her. All right. Y'all don't want the phone to die, child. So let me, ooh, ooh. and did it work? I got to get, ooh, ooh. <laughs> now I'm being like the guest. It was good earlier and I meant to charge it. All right, there we go. Okay. Now we have to charge her and now we good to go. YouTube. Okay, somebody sent money. What did it say? Pookie's auntie. Let me, Pookie's auntie, child. Let me read this. Pookie's auntie said, all the negative comments take away from the interview. Contestants feel uncomfortable defending themselves in front of thousands of people. They conjure up all the courage to come on and be embarrassed by a $5 comment. Ooh, Pookie's auntie came and spent $20 to say, y'all some mean ass cousins. And because y'all some mean ass cousins, people will be afraid. This is this is true. Though. I can vouch for this. People are. This is why people are really excited about the app because you know it'll be a dating app and it'll be all that stuff inside of it. And they're like, I just am nervous to come on your show. The show will be transferring to the app though. Like that's the unique part about the Kendra G Singles app. But I mean, cousins, Pookie's auntie was right. Y'all so mean, people be afraid to come on the show. Nadia, Nadia, show me the other side of the room. Show me the other side of the room, Nadia. Shot, just, just change the phone and show me the, okay. And the other side of the room. I gotta see, there we go. You ready? Hey, yes, I'm ready. Okay, I was Ninja nervous Turtles. too, I'm gonna be honest. I was a little nervous, but you know, I'm here. I mean, you look cute. Thank you. What's your name, babe? My name is Nadia. Nadia, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from New York City. NYC, how old are you? Yes, ma'am, I'm 34 years old. 34, what you do for a living? I'm in property management. Property management, you have any kids? I do, I have a three-year-old son, Aiden. Okay, why are you not with the dad? Oh, Kendra, it's complicated. Um, I'm not with his father because we're just not on the same page. Um, he's a little more sheltered. He has a lot of maturing to do. Um, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to build. I have goals, and we're just not aligned in that way. Okay, you're not aligned in that way. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. Uh, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Libra. Mm -hmm. So we got Nadia, NYC. 30. Have you ever been married? I have never been married. I would love to. Okay. To the right person, of course. To the right person, of course. Yes, Nadia, NYC, 34, Libra, property manager, mom to a three-year-old son. What mm -hmm. kind of man are you looking for, girl? Oof. I'm looking for a man that's spiritual, um, that has good character and great chemistry. Um, someone who's family-oriented. I have a huge family, and we are very close. Um, someone with morals and values someone who's well-rounded, um, someone who's emotionally available. The list can go on and on and on. But um, someone who's adventurous, someone who's intelligent, like myself, um, and who's ready to settle down and not afraid of commitment. That's a big one for me. That's a big one for her. What are your deal breakers? Liars. Um, people with hidden agendas and people who are afraid of commit, afraid of commitment, I would say. Those three things. Those three things. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Tall, definitely. I'm five six, so I would prefer someone who's six feet or taller. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not picky with like light skin, dark skin. Um, I'm open to all races. So as long as he's tall, well groomed, um, hygiene is a big thing for me. Very clean. Um, know how to put yourself together, put your stuff on, you know, look nice beside me, then we're good. Okay. What mm -hmm. about money? Can you make a certain amount of money? 
At least 75K. At least 75K. Yes, All right, Nadia, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. I'm going to have my mom hold the phone. She's making me nervous. Oh, but I... with you? Okay. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, mama. Hi, mama. <laughs> okay. We got to okay. find you a stepson. That's right. I need a son in law. That's right. You need a son in law. I said, son. Yes. Son in law. That's right. Son in law. I said it wrong. You look cute. So, now yeah, you. should he be at NYC? Not necessarily. As long as he's willing to travel, um, then I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, oh, I want to read this. I thought this was a cute response, um, a cute compliment to you. Mm -hmm. L double I says she looked like Miss Savannah James, LeBron's wife. Oh, Savannah's beautiful. Thank you. Savannah's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. When was your last relationship, Nadia? January of this year. January of this year. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? January of this year. Okay. <laughs> Three flaws you have to work on. Ooh, my patience. Um, and not pouring into people so soon. Like I'm, I'm a loving, I love love. Did you say mama? Give myself a chance. And to give my mother is obviously answering for me. I'm sorry, but just to give myself a chance and just to continue to pray because timing is everything and God's timing is everything. So I would say those three things, if that was three things. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Oh God, why wouldn't he? <laughs> um, I'm fun. I'm loving. Um, I love to travel. I love to cook. I love to cater. Um, and I pour into my man a lot. And I want that to be reciprocated. I love I'm big on energy. So I think those are key things. I love children. I would like to grow my family and just settle down and build with the person that's willing to build with me and ready to commit and be serious about a relationship at this time in their life. Okay, there you have it. So we got mm -hmm. Nadia NYC, 34 Libra, property manager, mom to a three-year-old son. How can, oh, what's the age range you would date? I would say, oh God, 34 to 44. 34 to 44. I do want you to respond to this. Just for the man watching that might consider, but say, might be cautious because you have a three-year-old son, pretty young. What would you say to him? Don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, I'm very open because my situation, I would understand if somebody came to me with my situation. Like, I don't have the baby father drama issues. I don't have that. He's went his way. He's been dating. I've been dating. We only communicate, you know, on the surface of my son. And that's really it. So I've established boundaries in that way. And I think that that's just important to have that boundary and just to co-parent respectfully. And that's where I am with my situation. And we haven't been together since my kid has been born. So if that means anything, that's my response to his question. Okay, fair enough. How can mm -hmm. the guy reach out to you, Bo? Instagram. Um, my name is kind of long. So it's Labella Naj, L-A-B, the number three. L L A N A D J. And there you have it. Well, I wish you the best, honey. Thank you so much, Kendra. Keep doing your thing. I respect you so much for what you're doing. Thank you so much. I think I have a compliment for you that I want to read. Um, let me see something. Because I, I think it's up. Um, let me read this to you. Okay. L double I said most women don't have a good relationship with their mom. None, Hannah, no. behave. No, no, Hannah behavior. That's a good sign for the future that she got a lot of love and I'm rocking with her. So you said he's rocking. Oh, with thank you. My mom is my best friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Bye, baby girl. Bye, Kendra. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I done just clicked you off, child. I was trying to click off the comment. Uh, my bad, girl. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. <laughs> okay, let me read this. Onyx Monopoly said, there are real men and women who are truly trying to find love. The cousins are so quick to debunk and slander real people, hindering successful and classy people who love Kendra and her platform. Not everyone is batshit crazy. Onyx, I think you've been on my show before. So, hey, Onyx girl, let me say this. There's truth to that. And I say this all the time, and I have learned this from my own life experience. The energy you put out against others is only the energy that you're going to get back. So... There could be constructive criticism. 
That's fair. I think that can help growth. But when you are just mean spirited and you're trying to be mean spirited to other people, that person should just laugh it off because you only blocked your own blessing. You don't harm the individual at all. You harm yourself. So that might be why you're not excited about your life and things aren't going well, because the energy that you're putting out and you're trying to pour on others, you're really pouring that energy on your own life. So always think about that. Always think about that. You're not really hurting the person watching. You're hurting yourself. And if you're willing to deal with the karma of the energy you're giving to the world, then so be it. So be it. All right, let's keep going. Um, chef, let me get a guy. Chef, show me the room, chef. If you want to be a guest, the link, show me the room. Show me the other side of the room. The link is in the comment section if you want to be a guest on the show. The comment section of YouTube and Facebook. Hello? Hello. You ready? Have you been here before? No, this is my first time. Okay. Are you an actual chef? Yes, I am. That would make sense, right? What do you want me to call you? I, I hope so. How do I pronounce your name? Uh, chef Hartley. Hartley. Chef Hartley. How old are you? I am 41. 41. And where are you calling me from? From Maryland. Maryland, how old are you? You just asked me that. I did. That's my fault. <laughs> 41. What's your zodiac Am I making time? you nervous? Huh? Am I making you nervous? No, not at all. Oh, okay. I'm just reflecting. <laughs> and I forget stuff. And I talk. This is my third show of the night. So oh, sometimes okay. it just is what it is, child. Gotcha. Um, but not making me nervous at all. <laughs> What's all your right. zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. When's your birthday? May 4th. Oh, uh, May 7th. Uh oh, see? Energy, energy, energy. You have energy, energy. <laughs> yes, I have two kids. How old are your two kids? Uh, nine and fourteen. Okay, both by the same women. Yes, same woman. <laughs> have you ever been married? Yes. Okay, when'd you get divorced? Four years ago. Four years ago. Okay, we got Chef Hartley. Am I saying it right? Yes, ma'am. All right, forty-one Taurus lives in Maryland. Um, dad of two by his ex-wife. Are they by your ex-wife? No. Oh, okay. So same mother, but you married someone else. Exactly. Okay. Um, it's divorce. Let's do I think I got it all. What kind of woman are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for confident, stylish, uh, spontaneous, adventurous, uh, loyal, of course, um, family oriented. Well traveled. Um, wow, I think I covered most of it. Career minded, and someone who can be with an entrepreneur and handle an entrepreneur's schedule, because my schedule is very random and all over the place. Okay. Um, and someone that's willing to, you know, learn and grow with me and evolve with with me as as vice as I do vice versa. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Uh, waist beads. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. Um, it's so many. No, no, it's not that many. Um, because I know we do evolve and we do change on a day to day basis. Uh, deal breakers would definitely be people who are insecure and uh, unsure of themselves. That's one. Um, someone who's scared to fly, that would be a deal breaker because I love to travel. Um, that's all I could think of right now. Okay. Um, now you're a chef, so I, I know you cook for a living. Do you want to cook in your home or does, does it matter if she knows how to cook? Uh, that doesn't matter. I mean, most people that I date, they're intimidated by the fact that I am a chef. Um, but honestly, you know, even though I'm a chef and cook exquisite meals, some of my favorite dishes is the most simplest ones, like a warm peanut butter and jelly sandwich toasted or a pack of noodles. Okay, so, okay. Um, now, should she look a certain way? Um, dang, how do you say that without sounding shallow? Um, no, I really don't, you know, I don't. Sure, I, now, a guy said that on my show before, child. And <laughs> he came back and said he had to do a do-over because he uh, didn't know what was out in the world. So you sure you want to say it don't matter how she looked well, at all? All right, I take that back. Long, I, I am a fan of, uh, I like natural women. Um, I like curvy women with pretty toes. 
Um, yeah. Because it's hard to say because, you know, it's filters and stuff that you got to go through. So you got to, sometimes I can see some, a picture or, or so forth and be like, and see it in person as a totally different person. So it's kind of hard to describe verbally. If sure, that makes fair sense. enough. What about money? Does she make a certain amount of money? Um, No, long as she's not settling for where she's at. Long as she's ambitious and willing to grow from where she is and, you know, do what she has to do to get ahead. I don't know if I should say do what she had to do, but <laughs> long as she has ambition to grow from where she is. Okay. All right. So let's do the Kendra Cam. Hello? Yes. You have to stand up. The Kendra Cam. Oh, I didn't know. Up. Okay. <laughs> So flip the camera and face at me or turn it Or around. however you want to do it. Just make sure we can see your legs. We got to see your full body. Oh, so I got to stand back. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh. do I got to spin around or something like that? Or just stand up? Stand up and then push back. OK. All right, looks like you're in great shape. Whoop. The phone went for. Okay, we see you, Hartley. <laughs> Hartley, you 41. What's the age range you would date? Oh, I can't see your uh, face. I'm sorry, I clicked. I clicked off you. I'm back. Yes. What's um, the age range you would date? I would say anywhere from 31 to 45. 31 to 45. Okay. 31 to 45. 31 to 45. Could she have kids? Yeah, I would prefer. Well, I would prefer at least one kid. I don't want to say necessary kids, but yeah, I would prefer her to be a mom. Do you want get? Do you want? Would you like to get married again? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? Uh, my last serious relationship has been about two years ago. Two years I mean, ago, I, you don't I, have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Intimate. Uh, about a month ago. Uh, what's up with her? Is she an option? Nah. Why do you sleep with her then if she's not an option? I mean, it was a it was a moment, and you know, sometimes we get anxious about a situation, and once we experience the situation, the chemistry changes. So, it 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 happened. It happened. It happened. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, communication, uh, you know, being single and finding my peace for so long, I feel like, well, one, I don't want to get in the stage of piecing anybody out where I'm just happy but being by myself. So just getting acclimated with communicating with someone um, on a consistent basis because I haven't had you know, someone to do that with for a while. So I'm sure that would be something I would have to learn or learn how that person's communication style is. So I would say that would be it. My time, of course, because I'm very fashionably, <laughs> I show up fashionably on time. Um, I, that's all I can think of. That that's was all I can think of. Uh -huh. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, because greatness is hard to come by. Now, let me stop. <laughs> no, that's how you feel for real. <laughs> nah, only, um, because I'm a great, great, great catch. You know, you're a fun. great, great catch. Great, great catch. I'm fun, um, knowledgeable, um, mm -hmm. venturous. Um, dang, I felt like I had an answer for that, but you got me. I'm stumped. I got you. You got me. I got you. Okay. Well, hmm. All right, let's do it. We got Chef Hartley, four years, got, got divorced four years ago. Is that a two kids? Oh, do you want more kids? Uh, It's possible. It's, it's possible. Not, not mandatory, but I'm open to it. Oh, does the woman have to be in Maryland? Um, no. You know, I'm, I travel, so. And I asked you, did you want more kids? That You just asked me that. Oh, okay. Got you. All right, let's do it. Chef Hartley, four years divorce, dad of two kids, would get married again, is in Maryland, 41 years old, Taurus. 
How can she reach out to you? Um, my Instagram, the bearded chef underscore KH, um, or my website, chefhartley.com. Um, yeah. You got some comments. You want me to read them to you? Sure. Okay. You know, my cousins be cousin, and I'm going to tell you that in, in advance, right? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going to tell you that in advance. Hella said, must be a pastry chef. <laughs> be a little sweet. That looked like a man. Oh, I'm I sorry. I think it is a man. <laughs> of course it would be. No, no response? No, I don't. That's okay. there's none needed. Okay. L double I said, just because that brother don't have a rough sounding voice and talk politically correct, don't mean he's a weirdo. I expect a woman to say that, not a man. <laughs> for I guess a man said that. Uh, All right, I'm gonna read this one. Okay. My DMs is going crazy. Brandon Thomas said he's coming off a little feet like a female. <laughs> 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 Another man. Another. Why are men paying for this though? Ooh. 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 <laughs> you why, can go why? and buy a sweatshirt, chefhartley.com, but go ahead, continue. Ooh, okay, well, that's it. That's it. We got to like that. He did say, Why are the men paying for this? He said, Only the men hating. I didn't even say hating. That's what they do. But why would a man pay while a man is up here? I mean, that's a little, that's more of a suspect. But Fair. Fair life enough. be life. A woman that's interested, how could she reach out to you? Uh, like I said, my Instagram, uh, the bearded chef underscore KH. All right. Well, you keep me posted, love. Definitely. All right. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Um, Onyx, I saw you big money, Onyx. Onyx got big money. She spent $400, 399 and $99, $400. Onyx said, people play too much. I support my people. $50 was not wasted. So the haters can fall down to the bottom of the bucket. All right, Onyx girlfriend, talk your talk. Talk your talk, Onyx. I appreciate the support, Onyx, shoot. Listen, love you back, girlfriend. I'm gonna read it twice. You get you you get yours. I might read it after every guest since you spent four hundred dollars, girl. It said people play too much. I support my people. Fifty was not wasted, so the haters can fall down to the bottom of the bucket. Thank you, Onyx. I want to say this too. Y'all know I give away money all the time too, so I feel like I get a lot because I give a lot. Try it. It's called karma. It's called karma. How about that one? Thank you, Onyx girlfriend. Thank you, boo. Thank you, Bo. All right, let's keep going. Um, Cassidy, show me the room, Cassidy. Show me the other side of the room. Cassidy, I got to see you. Oh, show me the other side of your room. Just take the phone. Oh, take the phone and show me the other side of the room, Cassidy. Okay. Other side. Go, go the other way. Okay. You ready? I can't hear you, baby. I can't hear you, boo. I can't hear you, boo. We can't hear you. I can't hear you, love. You got to fix your volume. Wait, take your Bluetooth off. Maybe it's your Bluetooth. Take off the Bluetooth. All right. Take off the Bluetooth. We'll try to we'll try to come back. I gotta go to somebody else. Andrea, Adrian, Adrian, show me the other side of the room, Adrian. Okay, okay, here we go. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can't. Is your name Adrian? Is your name Adrian? It is. Adrian, where are you, Adrian? <laughs> Y'all ever see Rocky? No, but people always use, use an example. I lived in Philly, so I know y'all think of me as Chicago, and you should. But I also spent like four years in Philly, which is a very rocky town. And um, so I'm familiar. I mean, I was familiar with Rocky before, but you know, the Rocky steps are in Philly. So yes, that's from the movie Rocky. Adrian, how old are you? I just turned 30. 
Okay, 30. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Aries, what you do for a living? I work in HR tech. HR tech. What you um you told me that. Um, you have any children? No. No kids. Um, and where are you calling me from? So I'm calling from Atlanta, but I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee. Where do you live? In Atlanta. Atlanta. They said, Kendra, she's beautiful. Thank you. They said, all right, let's do it. So we got Adrian, Atlanta, 30 Aries, HR tech, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Let's see. So I, I tried to be prepared. So let me look at my list here. So I'm looking for some uh, for a man that's kind. Um, loves God, interested in growing spiritually together, um, values family, has morals, um, someone who is truly open and ready to date. I'm also looking for a man that cares about their health, um, respectful, um, someone career driven, and someone who isn't afraid to continue to evolve. Someone who isn't afraid to continue to evolve. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Deal breaker. Um, I prefer someone who doesn't have any children. Um, I also prefer someone who's never been married before. Um, another deal breaker. Let's see. Um, someone who doesn't value marriage um, or family. And, oh yeah, someone who hasn't dealt with their past traumas. Okay. Um, could he have kids? I prefer someone who doesn't have children. Okay, me with no kids. All right, should he look a certain way? Um, not really. Um, I'm five five, so if you're five five and above, fine. Five five and above is fine. All right, should he make a certain amount of money? Not necessarily. Um, I've dated men with different tax brackets. It's um, as long as you can provide for yourself and I can truly know who you are at your core, that's that's what's more important to me. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Let's see, hold on. Let me get this back. I think this is, this may work, hold on. Okay. Ah, are you look skinny? Like you're in good shape. Yeah. Are you tall? You seem tall. I'm five five. Uh, are you five five? Oh, you look yeah. good. Good. Yes. Okay. So we got Adrian. Yes. Adrian, thirty Aries in, in the ATL area. Do you well, lives in Atlanta? Do you want the guy to be in Atlanta? Um, no, he doesn't have to be in Atlanta. Okay. She's an HR tech. No kids. Um, when was your last relationship? Um, my last relationship was about a year ago. Year ago, okay. Do you, all right, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? A year ago. A year ago. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, let's see. I can work on um, relaxing more, I mean, taking more time for myself. Instead of working, I'm always on the go. Um, so I can definitely take more time to relax. Um, let's see. I can also work on saying no uh, more as well. I'm a person who always trying to solve everybody's problems, um, family, friends. So <laughs> I can definitely uh, work on that. And I think that's it for now. That's it for now, she said. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I'm kind. I'm caring. Um, I love family. I'm big on positivity. Um, I love God. And yeah. Okay. We got a positive comment for you. I'm going to read it. Um, Logical Face said, great, in great interview, Adrian." You presenting yourself well. I suggest you ask a trusted male to refer you to someone that he knows personally. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. Um, this one said, I, I'm only dating women with kids in Atlanta. That way I know the hardware, hard, hardware is right. Atlanta's got a huge question mark that comes with it. So Brandon's looking for a woman that has children in Atlanta. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. You that's have fine. Her. All right. Listen, I think, I think you were dope. I think you, um, like, I agree with logical faith. You came on well presented, uh, well spoken. I think you're a good catch. You have no kids. You want kids? I do. She does want kids. All right, Boone, the time has come. How could the guy reach out to you? So you can reach out to me by Facebook. It's Adrian Queen. So that's A D R I E N N E Queen Q U E E N. Do it one more time. Adrian A D R I E N N E Queen Q U E E N. And there you have it. All right, Boo, keep me posted how it goes. Bye, Kendra. Bye, sweetheart. Okay. Um, Onyx, show me the room. Onyx, show me the room, Onyx. Onyx, can you hear me? I see you dancing, but I got to see your room. Show me the room before I come to you. Onyx, yes, yeah, show me the room. You got to show me the room. So, like, just take it. Okay. All right. Hey, Onyx, girl. I can't hear you. Turn the volume on. They're singing happy birthday. Sorry. Oh, today's your birthday? I'm 44 and I'm old. Oh, today's your happy birthday. Sorry, you meant, like, do I turn it around? Why'd you guys all turn it out? You were sending me my happy birthday. You ran out. Oh, I look crazy. That's why. No way. <laughs> Girl, everybody ran out. No, but my lash is about to fall off, girl. Wait, today's your birthday? I'm sorry. Blow it. Oh, can't go, excuse me. Can I blow out my candle without being... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a chance. Sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't... Sorry. Happy birthday, Onyx. Sorry. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. There was over here, like, boys the men in it. <laughs> Honest, you know, look, wait. Okay, you know I'm running the show. First of all, thank you for all the super chats you sent tonight. You're so sweet. Kendra, I've been doing that shit since we met. I want to tell you way back when. I'm that a is supporter. true. I don't care if you're a woman, man. As long as you are doing things for our community and love, I'm going to support you. Everybody talking about I wasted money. Listen, if I can send more than five hundred dollars, don't play with me. Well, listen, no, no. I, I appreciate it. It's your birthday. I feel so oh. bad because I should be giving you the gift. But let me ask you this. You have an update. Did you find love? Huh? Okay. Did it Did it end? I saw you make a post that you found someone. If, if he messed up, Cat Williams, how you doing? Baby. Babe. If you, if you mess up, Cat Williams. Good luck. He said, good luck. Come here. Say hi to Kendra. So this, this is, is your my, man, right? My, so I, my husband, my second husband came back when he saw your shit. Oh, you saw her in the show when you, you, you came back. <laughs> when did y'all get back. back together? Um, when he saw your show and was like, oh, hell no. Are you serious? Yeah. Stop <laughs> okay, he's camera shy. So honest, give me the details. You were on the show. Um, so tell me what happened. <laughs> what happened? Honest, I love you, girl, but you gotta talk to me because you know I'm hosting a live I'm show. I'm trying, girl. Hold on, let me put the phone down. It's birthday and sippy sippy. Okay. Um, hi everybody, hi cousins. First of all, can I can I address something, sis? Can I please? Yes. Go ahead. All y'all motherfuckers said I'm six foot four with a dick. I am a girl. I'm not trans. I'm not Wendy. Williams, y'all kept calling me a man. Y'all tried to debunk my resume. Y'all had my LinkedIn shut down for a month. You guys did me dirty. Y'all act like six figures a month. Like it's literally over a million a year. It's like not a lot of for people in our industry. First of all, it's not a lot. Y'all, y'all really. I went. Can I say something? I really went into like a depression. <laughs> like y'all really was fucking with my life and my money. Like debunking my shit and reporting me and. All kinds of stuff. Y'all called me a man. You said I couldn't be in the industry this long. Y'all said I was taking money for foster children, paying my bills. No, that's not the case. 
I'm a real woman that loves my people and I love my community. I came from adversity, mm -hmm. first of all. There's not a lot of human trafficking survivors that have survived and gotten to the levels of where I've come through, you know? Mm -hmm. And if I see other people doing things for our community, I'm gonna support them, period. That's it, that's all. Now, to where I'm at. Uh, what had happened? You saw my stuff on Kendra and was like, absolutely mother freaking not and came back. That's how you don't say it. Okay, well then tell me. How would you say it, sir? How would you say it, sir? Come here. How would you say it? Come here. Don't make me have to be a lie because them cousins is a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Them cousins will rule a whole life. They just done had a Tony Braxton wig and a dick. Like, come over here. I'm a girl. I'm five foot. Listen, I'm five foot two and some change. Is you five foot two? Anyway, say so hi to Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. <laughs> so. So tell me how you guys rekindled your love. <laughs> tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. kept sending him but the thing. It was more of a, I needed a rock. <laughs> Boy, if you don't move that rock from behind me right now, it's my birthday. Stop. Sorry, Kendra. You anyway, let me tell you this, Kendra. Honestly, thank you. And um, I've met some amazing people through your show. And um, I'm talking amazing men and women. Um, there are some people that actually saved my life after the cousins were sending me over the deep hand. Okay. Um, you have the good, the bad, the ugly, the high, the lows, and everything in between. But um, your, your show does a lot for people. You got a lot of batshit crazy people, but there are a lot of good people, entrepreneurs, single mothers, not the baby mamas. Those are the ones that are trying. Anyway, you got a lot of single fathers, single mothers, entrepreneurs, men, women that are doing that shit that just genuinely want to find love. I want you to keep doing what you're doing because you're doing amazing things, Kendra. Um, and you and know, I'm sorry well, we were bullied by the cousins. Cousins, we really do got to work on this. No, because, listen, they called like, LinkedIn, girl. They they was sending that's some too much. To that's too much. My I LinkedIn mean, was shut down. I had to fight for my LinkedIn for two months to prove it. But how did they shut it down? I'm confused. How did they get it shut down? Um, debunking my career, reporting me, um, spamming that's evil. And I had to like send them my shit. I'm like, I said 30 years in the industry, like, yeah, I got. Rescued and I went into foster care and I started the industry at this and it was like, well, he like it was really bad. And then they start they started seeing videos that was a man. It was really bad. Yeah, like, but you know what? That's the crab in a bucket mentality. I got it. That comes with the internet. But let's forget the negative, Kendra. I've met some amazing people, and if he didn't do his thing or whatever, there were people I met short, tall wheelchair small in between six figures above and below that were just really good people that wanted love and i just want to tell people don't cut yourself short or um you know don't throw things away or um let me say don't ruin your future because of your preferences Everybody is, you can have your preferences, but there are guys and uh, women out there that are good people that are short, tall, in between, and small, whatever. There are people out there with 50,000, 60,000, 70, 80,000. They're just genuinely good people. I've met some amazing people um, that gave me a different perspective on life, Kendra, after I did your show. You know, I don't want to talk about the negative. I'm talking about the great. I've met some amazing people, and there's people because of you that I've met that found love through me meeting people. Say, hey, you should meet this person, meet that person. There's just a lot of great people out there. Period. Um, I've met people in wheelchairs that have been freaking amazing that found love because of my experience through your show. And I, I thank you, uh, Kendra. I really do. And shout out to all the amazing people that I've met. Um, and I've, um, you know, we've been in this industry, you you know, understand, for a really long time. And then just all the stories, I've, I've been humbled. And um, I'm just grateful. I'm just going to say, you know what, Kendra, I'm grateful. And, 
Yeah, I want to say to the cousins, though, y'all motherfuckers need to stop trying to ruin lives because there are really good people out there that are really about that life that genuinely just want to find love, that are not lying about their careers or their life or their adversities. And just because you go through adversities or you're a single mother or father doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just because you don't make six figures don't mean you're a bad person. Okay, let me jump in real quick. We're going to go, but I do want to read this because I yes, think I thank remember, you. I remember your... Um, you didn't have a money requirement, at least I don't think so. But Brianda said, ma'am, if you make so much money, why the F are you on Kendra's show looking for a top tier? Man, they too busy making money, not the F on here. Well, Brianda, first of all, that's not true. That's top tier right, men, right there. The that's time. my point. Yeah. And secondly, I don't think you had a money requirement, or did you? Yes, I know you I made said, a lot of money. Yes, ma'am. I said... Can they, you said, what is the, um, what do you want them to make? I said, at least six figures a year. And you said, how much you make? I said, and I re regret this, but I said six figures a month. You're going to act like a million dollars a year for entrepreneurs. Like, well, impossible. well, Onyx, let me jump in. You know, you are a part of the 1%, maybe it's 10%, but no. Yeah, but it's not impossible. Uh, huh? It's not impossible. And it's I was not, well, hold on, wait, hold on. It's, it's not about it being impossible, but it's not average at all. You are a part of. But why community. why can't high value people? One thing people have said, and you've read the comments. Why would you come on Kendra? I would get a, a million dollar matchmaker. Anything? Well, because of you, I'm where I'm at. You know, don't cut your. So, what does that say about Kendra? If they're saying, why would you come on Kendra? What does that say about Kendra? I thank God for my people that said, hey, go on this lady show. Well, let me say this. I don't get offended because I know the truth. And I know that there are top tier men who watch my show. They may just not be interested at times in what they see. And that's just the fact. They come on. Remember and I they said come on. So I, 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 and the ones I've been bringing on lately are personal friends that I'm bringing on so you guys can have an opportunity. But um, no, they watch the show. There are Maybe they're just them. not interested. That's that's no, what we're the thing. Out. There are a lot of amazing men and women that are high earners that watch your show. It's up to us that are trying to find love not to be jackasses and not be comedy and entertainment. Like, yeah. just come on here and be somebody of class so they can actually take you seriously. Yeah. But, you know... I actually got... I, 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 first of all, I want to say happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Um, I do have to go, but for clarity, did you guys get remarried? N uh, no, we're okay. not remarried. Okay, fine. Just they were just but, you know, he's he he's here, and um, here we are. Let you okay. know what I'm saying. Thank you, and shout out to all the positive cousins and everybody. And thank you, Kendra. I, right. I'm gonna let you go, but thank you, God Happy bless you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Happy birthday, Onyx. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. Um, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna post it because I have my friend Hector on the show. Hector, um. Although he doesn't have the hype, but he got a lot of great feedback. You guys really, really, really like Hector. He's a personal, he was a trainer when I lived in Chicago. So he sent this, and he fits all the categories other than high chai, makes the money, all those things, has no kids. But he sent me this DM. He can't, he got so many, he has about, I want to say, 3,000 new followers. So you can imagine the, the DMs. There's no way he's responding to all the DMs. It's just impossible, right? So I guess a girl who didn't get a response. Oh, he made a comment. Let me give that back story. So I need that part too. He made a post saying he's not responding to the people he's not interested in, which is fair, ladies. It's like a guy you like and you're not interested in, you don't give him your number. You don't waste your time. Well, a girl who sent a DM was offended that he's not going to respond to all his DMs. So he sent me the DM train. I'm going to read some of it to you. So the girl said, LOL. Isn't that the reason you go on Kendra's show shaking my head? Hector said, yes, it is, but everyone is not going to get a response. Then she said, okay, well, you never responded to my first message, so I can definitely see that. Next time, don't go public, okay? He said, huh? What are you hurt about? She said, LOL. He, he said, I'm a single man dating. I'm sorry you're not my type. Wish you the best trying to find a man for you, but I'm not interested. She said, okay, that's fine. But may I ask why I'm not your type? Ruth, let him stop right there. If a man tell you, you ain't his type, bear him a farewell. You don't got to ask no more questions, okay? But she wanted to keep going on. She said, what is your type? He said, and he was honest, I don't find you attractive. She said, 
And what makes you think I don't fit that personality? He said, she said, LOL, in terms of what? He said, it's not about personality. The thing is, I don't know you. In terms of you're not attracted to me, what other terms is there? She said, exactly. Oh, you're not attracted to me physically. He said, yes, correct. She said, because you would have to see me to determine that in person. She is still going on. He said, no, I don't have to do all that. She said, LOL. She said, see, it all boils down to my personality, which you still don't know either. But that's okay, hon. He came back and said, it doesn't. I don't care. Look at your personality. Oh, he said, it doesn't. I don't care to look at your personality. I'm not attracted to you physically. She said, you're a confusing man. I hope you find your Kardashian. I wanted to read that. She made so many mistakes. <laughs> Ladies, if a guy's not into you, keep it moving. He was honest enough. He said it early in the text. I don't find you attractive. Stop right there. Don't try to come and say, well, you don't know my personality. He said, I don't give a damn about your personality. <laughs> I don't find you attractive physically. Therefore, no matter about your personality. She kept going on. She kept going on. So these are the, some of the mistakes. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Cassidy, you got it together? I think so. Okay, I think we're here. Can you, All right. can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> All right, Cassidy, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. uh, Vegas. Nevada, how old are you? I am 28. 28, okay. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in HR. HR. Mm -hmm. oh, I think I have a, hopefully I have an echo. Do you have any kids? I don't. Mm -mm. No kids. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. A Leo, okay. Let's get it, Cassidy. We got Cassidy. There is an echo. Can we fix it? Are you on, am I on twice? You said, can I do what? I feel like I hear an echo. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. All right, here we go. So we got Cassidy, Las Vegas, Nevada. 28 is a Leo? Yes. HR, no kids. All right. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, can I just say real quick, I met you at the NAACP Awards. You probably don't remember me. And I was like, I need to come on your show. Okay. Yeah, you sat I'm right next, next to you. You sat next to me? Mm-hmm. Well, my I friend did. I sat beside her. We were next to you. Okay. Oh, well, good to see you again, Cassidy. Yeah. And I'm, were you guys behind me or next to me? Next to you, like sitting right next to you. So it was my friend and then it was me. I was on the very end in the aisle. Okay. I remember a girl behind me uh, saying something, but okay, maybe it was next to me. All right, well, you're here, girl. You yeah. follow the instructions. Well, let's do it. So, <laughs> what kind of man are you looking for? They say he's cute. Oh, thank you. Um, So I'm just looking. I really don't know. I mean, I know, but like, I'm just looking for someone that's, like really cool, really chill, has his stuff together. Um, you know, no kids, cause I'm like big on the no kid thing. I tried it and I couldn't do it. Um, uh, yeah, that's really me. It's somebody tall because I'm tall, I'm 5'10". So yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, deal breakers? Um, I would say someone that is, um, like I said, someone that has, and um, I would say someone that is just very selfish and like conceited, self-centered, that type of person. And you know, that's okay to a certain extent. Like you can be like really confident, but like conceited and like self-centered, I don't like that. Um, okay. And then I would say someone that is just not respectful like you know i'm a very respectful person i'm respectful of people's time and their you know just just you know overall respect so like just someone who's not respectful like that's something that's a real big turn off okay um so you look a certain way um i don't like to say that i have a type um i date anyone of any race um 
just tall is really it. Good hygiene, you know, that's, that's really it. Okay. Uh, what about money? Do you make a certain amount of money? Um, I would say in like the high five figures, like probably like over 70K. You know. Ooh, 70k, don't play with it. Okay, 70k. Okay, I got you. Living yeah, like oh, I got this far. You live in Las Vegas? I do, yes. Oh, so you were visiting LA for NAA? I was, yeah. So we drove there. Me and my friend drove there. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, okay. We got some static happening, child. Hold on. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, okay. oh, it looks like you're in great day. Yeah, I try. I try. Okay, you look good. You look really good. Okay, so Cassidy, where, so no men with kids. Yeah, I prefer okay. kids. What's the age range you would date? Um, I would say twenty eight to like thirty eight. Twenty eight to thirty eight. Should he be in Las Vegas? Um, he doesn't have to be. Like somewhere around Las Vegas would be nice, like Arizona, L.A. Okay. Like that. When was your last relationship? Um, probably almost two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, sometime last year, I'd say. My last year. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, definitely one is being shy. I'm very, very shy. Um, I need to work on like being more outgoing and assertive, I feel like. Um, and another thing I need to work on, um, maybe not being so naive. Like I give people the benefit of the doubt really easily, which is why I was in the situation with the guy with the kid not too long ago. So, um, yeah, that was like a really bad, like not, well, it was bad, but like, you know, um, so not what being so naive. What happened in that situation? Do you want to share? Um, basically I was just talking to a guy who had a kid and it wasn't the kid, you know, I, I love kids, but it was the baby mama situation. It was the baby mama drama. How old, how old was the child? Um, I believe he was four. Oh, uh, and they had just always ask under five because that's so young. Did, did the baby mama still want to be in a relationship? Um, I believe so because she was reaching out to me. Um, you know, she was just, what did she say to you? Uh, she was trying to get in contact with me. I don't know what she was trying to say. I never spoke to her because, like, I'm not about that. Like, I don't want to be bothered. Were they still so, dealing with each other? I, I don't know. I have no idea. It didn't last long. It lasted, like, not even two months. So so did you end it because she reached out to you? Um, Pretty much. I, like, I didn't want to deal with that. I was like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not here for that i don't want all the drama i just moved out here too so it's like i don't want to be in no kind of drama um so i was like yeah no this is not gonna work okay all right let's do it okay fair enough so you gave me your three flaws right um i think so i said like being shy being kind of naive and then um i would say i don't really know mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably the same as being shy, but just like coming out of my shell, coming like not being such a homebody. I'm like really a homebody and I don't go out a lot, which is probably why I don't meet people that much. But um, yeah, like going out more. I would okay. Say. Yeah. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, Because I'm very down to earth, laid back, like very open minded, um, very adventurous. I love to travel. Um, you know, I feel like I have a good head on my shoulders. I have a decent job. Like I have my own place, my own car. I'm very family oriented, um, very loyal. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Do you want kids? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it, girl. Um, how can the guy reach out to you? Um, on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is uh cast bar so it's k-a-s-s -S, and then b-a-r-e okay i got a question for you mm -hmm. logical faith logical faith is, i'm spending money job logical faith said when you're interested in someone what's the things that usually makes you lose interest um make me lose interest is um someone that's just very like not responsive like 
you know, if I'm trying to get to know you and you're giving me like one word answers or you're not really like talking and engaging in conversation and not really like, you know, that's something that makes me lose interest immediately. Um, you know, someone that kind of, like I said, is like really conceited and they're like super, you know, they're just, they just talk about themselves a little too much, you know, and it's not really asking me about myself, you know, they're just talking about themselves. That's something that's a big turnoff too. Um, yeah, that makes me lose interest a lot. Okay. But like I said, I'm very down to earth. So I'm like, not really, you know, I give okay. people a fair chance. Okay. Um, Hella said she's perfect. <laughs> Gosh, far from me. perfect. Okay. All right, the time has come, Cassidy. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, Instagram. That's that's it. Instagram. Did you already give it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, okay. Cash right, bar. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go into another question. It, it threw me off guard. All right. Well, listen, good to see you again. Yes. Thank and you. And I for wish having you well. Me. Keep me posted how it goes. Okay, I will. I'm getting the the following now. <laughs> Yeah. All right, baby girl. All Sorry. right, thank you. Um, before I go to the next guest, there's two things, there's two chats I want to read. Um, Cara said, would you do an episode where you interview men only? Cara, and for all the ladies, I want to give you guys the true data. There are more women looking for relationships than men. And the type of guy y'all want has a lot of options. Now, I, this is what I do. I have gone into my personal data two times. I got my man's friend, Juwan, to come on the show. And then I got, well, actually, Hector reached out to me. He texted me. He's a personal friend. He was on the show last. Um, and both of these men fit the type of man you guys describe, as in money, the way they speak. Um, Juwan had one child. Hector has no, no kids. But they did very they scored very high. They scored very high from a lot of the audience. They also received more than 3,000 DMs each. Okay? So I want you to understand that. Those men <laughs> received 3,000. So they have 3,000 women to choose from. I just want to paint the picture so you can understand because I think what happens is if you do not understand the reality of the data, you will wait for this perfect man who does not exist so far from the sky and then you'll have no one, okay? And I don't want that from you. I want you to enjoy life with a somebody. Now, yes, guess what? They have options. Jawan's actually dating someone that was on my show. He's actually dating a person that he was dating prior. He wasn't in a relationship. But now he's decided to really give one woman, who we actually knew prior, his undevoted time. Hector, he's going through the pots. He's going through the pots. So I want you to know, I try to get the men's for you ladies all the time. But I think you have to understand the reality of what is really happening. Okay? I just want to I just want to share the truth. This is just the truth. You see it every night. If I'm picking more women, it's because there's more women. It's just what it is. And then when I pick the guys, other than ones like Hector, y'all don't like them. They talk about they don't believe in God. One talk about something. You got to have five kids. If you can't have five kids, he going to find somebody else to have kids to. Another one smoking a blunt. Listen, I'm praying for my ladies. I'm telling you, if it ever happens, you can clone people. I'm going in the cloning men business. Okay. Going in the cloning men business. Um, and I wanted to read this. Because I read this. I think he's responding to the back and forth I read that Hector is going through in his DMs. Brandon said, women curve men all the time. If you want that type of man, get your ass in line. We have choices and abundance of women to choose from. Okay, Brandon. I don't know you, Brandon. So I, I, I don't know if you're on the caliber of, you never know my show, so I can't vouch for you. But if, if you say you are a man like Hector, I always say this, men have a lot of quantity, but do they have a lot of quality options? You can have a whole bunch of quantity, but where's the quality options? Let's keep going. All right. Okay, we got a guy. Straight, straight Lee. Straight Lee, show me. Show me the room. We got a man coming up next, Lee. I got a man for y'all. Show me the room. Okay. 
You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What's your, is, what's your name, honey? Robert. Robert, where are you calling me from? Uh, Lubbock, Texas. Texas. How old are you? 41. 41. What you do for a living? I, so it's kind of weird. I, I work for the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I live in Lubbock. Okay. I don't know how far they are from each other. 563 miles. How many of that is that in hours? Six and a half hours. So do you drive there every day? No, I actually work remotely. Um, okay. There's my spot. You work for the city of Tulsa, you say? Mm hmm Okay. What, do you want to share what you do or you want to keep it to yourself? Uh, no, I, I, I don't mind. It's actually all over Facebook. And anyway, if anybody got on the city of Tulsa's <laughs> um, website, they could actually see how much money I make. Um, <clears throat> no, I actually I work for development services at City Hall. Well, since you kind of just mentioned it, do you want to share how much money you make? I don't normally ask that question, but you kind of. <laughs> so at the beginning of this year, it just hit 80000 Okay, so you make eighty k. All right. Do you have any kids, Robert? I have four. I got well of your four kids. <laughs> my oldest son, so I have two boys, two girls. My oldest son is 21. Oldest daughter just turned 18 on the 30th. Um, my youngest son is 15, and youngest daughter is 11. 21, 18, 15, and 11. Mm -hmm. About the same woman? Uh, not my oldest son. My, okay. my last three. Uh -huh. Two women. I was in marriage for 15 years. Okay. When did you get divorced? 2017. 2016, 2017. You guys were married for 15 years? Mm -hmm. Why'd you get divorced? Well, uh, hold on. I lied about that. We were together 15 years. We were married 11. Say it again. We were married. We were married 11 and together for 15. You were married for 11 um, and you were together for 15. how many years? 15. 15. Mm -hmm. And why'd you get divorced? <laughs> So uh, my ex-wife is white, and she actually dropped the N-word on me. Woo! Really? Yeah. And all your kids, so you guys have kids together too, right? Yeah, we was actually, we were cooking dinner, um, and there's a whole history behind it. Um, but we were cooking dinner at the time, and she's always been so insecure. I actually took her from a guy, and <laughs> she... Um, she used to accuse me of all these other women before. Um, I was a coach, and I'm very friendly. Um, but, yeah, we were we were cooking dinner and had a bit of an argument, and she dropped the N-word on me. The kids were sitting at the dinner table. And that, that was it for you? Of course. <laughs> oh, my God. Were you shocked? Did you, did you think she was that type of woman? I was heavily shocked. And matter of fact, I said, what did you say? Because I needed to hear it again. <laughs> oh, child. Okay. Well, ain't no argue, argument there. I would have I <laughs> fought her for you if, if I was your cousin. I know that's if right. If I was your cousin and not a public figure and getting <laughs> arrested wouldn't be bad for me, I would have fought her for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, okay. So now, before we go any further, do you still date white women? Um... I did one. I, I mean, I did one. I had one after my divorce. Um, after that, it's just been black, black, black women. Black women. So, do you have a preference, or it doesn't matter to you? Black women. <laughs> black women. Okay, black women. All right. So let's do it. We got Robert, Texas, forty-one, works for the city of Tulsa. Um, dad of four, by two women, was once married. What's your zodiac sign? Virgo. Virgo. All right. What kind of woman are you looking for? Um, I would say, okay, so I'm going to give the high points of some experiences that I had. So definitely somebody who's respectable, um, someone who can comprehend, um, because I think a lot of, a lot of, uh, conversations and or arguments, some comprehension is not taken in consideration. And so it's usually a one-sided type of situation. Um, and also, it doesn't, tall or short doesn't matter. Um, I would say fit, but fit. <laughs> um, yeah, super sweet. Um, somebody who could be like a good example to my girls. 
Okay. Could the woman have kids already? Sure. Okay. Excuse me. What are your deal breakers? Uh, basically the things I said. Um, not being able to comprehend. Um, disrespectful. Um, um, not am- non-ambitious. Not, not a lot. I mean... Okay. Um, uh, you said, now this is the question. Should she look a certain type of way? Um, no. I mean, just thick. <laughs> thick and in shape. That's all I care. Thick and in shape. What about money? Should she make a certain type of money? No, not really. I, I'm Okay. I'll say over 50K. Over fifty k, should she be? Um, should she be in? I guess Texas. Yes. Okay, so she'll be in Texas. I actually just okay. moved back to Texas in twenty December twenty two. Where was you prior? Tulsa. Oh, okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Do we see your legs? Let me bring that down. Okay, we see you. You look tall. I'm 6'3". You're 6'3". Okay. 6'3". All right. Would you have more kids? <laughs> I don't want to. Dr. Umar would say, you, pre- you gave a white woman three kids and you won't give a black woman a baby. That's what Dr. Umar So, I mean, it's... There's so there's a little bit of a, I guess, understanding that needs to be <laughs> that needs that's to be put out there. I, that's not what Kendra G said. That's what Doctor Umar was saying. Well, I mean, because here's the thing. This is how I I feel about that type of situation. If and and this is from my own experience, I feel like if there's going to be like a super tight connection between two people, a man and a woman, or whatever, who have children, I feel like it's not mandatory, but I feel like it, the connection will be a lot more stronger if they do have a child together. They can you want women, work you want a on... woman that already has children? Yes. Okay. okay. But, I mean, to have another one, I, I feel like the connection would be stronger between the two of us if that were pos- if that were to happen. Okay, so he prefers a black woman, because you prefer a black woman, right? Mm-hmm. That already has a child, and he's open-minded to having a child with you, so that can even make y'all even closer. Correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, did I ask you when was your last relationship? No. When was your last relationship? Okay, so this is kind of funny. Okay, my mom actually watches you, and I had hey, a conversation. <laughs> I had a conversation with her. Probably okay. We've been on here what an hour and eighteen minutes. Probably fifteen minutes before you aired. And she was like, you should go on Kendra and this and that. And I was like, mom, hey, I'm not trying to date anybody. <laughs> so my last relationship ended like four days ago. You just broke up with somebody? <laughs> what in the world? I guess you don't stay single long, Robert. They want you. No, I actually do. Um, like I said, my mom, she was like, you should go on Kendra. You need to do this or whatever. So and I was are you like, single? Okay, I'll do it. That four, four days ago, was there any... Chance of reconciliation. Uh, so the big things that I talked about as far as deal breakers. She was white? <laughs> no, she, she's very disrespectful. Um, okay. Was she white um, though? No, black. Okay, black. Oh, but, but she was disrespectful. But I'm 41. She's 32. Okay. So what was the what, what did she do to cross the line of no return? It's just a lot of disrespect. Just for, I mean, you don't, I guess you don't got to talk about her, but maybe this could be an educational moment. What was, can you give us, I don't know, maybe one example of, of, of the lot of disrespect? I really don't want to, because I think she watches you. Okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. You didn't say her name, though. You didn't say her name, but that's fine. Okay, so now is it over, over four days is not that long. No, not at all. So she, she's definitely not coming back. No. 
girlfriend, if you're watching, he said you can't come back. No. And it's kind of tough for me because, um, like, how you've, you've been asking everybody, like, what are your flaws and all this? That's probably one of my biggest flaws, staying in a relationship too long um, and just taking all the punches and being somebody's doormat and stuff like that. Like, that's... There's a song that says, um, <clears throat> I need love even if it's fake love. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of, you know, the situation that I fit in um, with with those type of situations in, in relationships. Like, since ever since my marriage ended, it's just been, I've been picking the wrong ones. <laughs> well, let's see if we get you the right ones. So what are three flaws you have to work on? For myself, um, definitely... Um, not sitting in relationships too long. Um, I would say probably number one is my attitude. And I, 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 I would say also okay, so I got to explain this. After my divorce, it was kind of hard to really delve into a relationship and really trust somebody with like my own personal information and um, <clears throat> basically opening up to somebody because my experience, they'll use that against you and throw it in. That's the disrespectful part. They'll use that and throw that in your face anytime there's an argument or a fight or whatever. And <clears throat> that's that's a that's a big thing to me. Like it, it bothers me to feel like that I have to tell somebody about my past. And then they use it against me. So I guess being able to trust people a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Being able to trust people. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I handle business. I take care of my kids. I actually raise my girls by myself. And it's super tough. <laughs> But um, oh, wait, so you have custody of your three girls? So I have two girls and two boys. My okay. my my youngest, my oldest son graduated. He's in college. My youngest son, he stays with mom in Tulsa. <clears throat> and my two daughters, I have custody of them. Oh, so you a single dad? Mm -hmm. So you know how it feels. To, you know, so you know how these single moms feel, then? Right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm always broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's the toiletries. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you wearing your wedding ring still? No, 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 it's pinky ring. Okay, okay, yeah, someone said, are you still wearing your wedding ring? No. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, the time has come, Robert. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I, I was hoping I answered that. Um, just ambitious. Um, I try to get things done. I try to figure things out that need to be figured out. Um, I work my butt off. And kids are the most important things to me. Let's do it. Let me see if I have any questions pertaining to you. Okay, I don't know what this one. Rena been spending money all night long to say stuff. Kendra, stop. You know he just effed up. What did you say? I'm not sure what you said to make him say that. Um, someone said, it seems like you play victim. No. Um, actually... <laughs> I, I'm like I said, I got to work on my attitude. <laughs> so I, I actually uh, I contribute to a lot of it because there's a lot of things I don't put up with. I mean, like I said, I was married for 11, almost 12 years in a relationship, for 15 years inward, dropped on me, failed relationships, and then just a whole bunch of trust issues with people. Okay, pertaining to that, they want to know: was it the what what N word was it? The one with the A ending or ER. the ER? Huh? ER. ER. The ER ending. Yeah. <laughs> the ER is it? Yeah. Ah. Yep. All my life I got to fight. Now that would have been a hard one. That yeah. would have been a hard one. All right, Robert, let's stay focused. Oh, I do want to ask you this. This is kind of funny. Um, do you know who Dr. Umar is? 
Um, not personally. Oh, well, not personally, but, yeah. but are you familiar with his? You know, he is. He's very stance on black love. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. He does know Pookie. Pookie, he does know. All right, we're gonna go. How do I want to reach out to you? Um, Facebook, uh, Messenger, Robert Render. That's my. Okay. Well, Robert, tell your mother I said hi. Okay. Hi, mama. Give your contact <laughs> one more time. Say again. Give your give your contact information one more time. Um, just Facebook, Robert Render, R E N D E R. Okay. Okay. Keep me posted how it goes. Okay. All right. Thank Ooh, you. Oh, I be. I don't like telling my personal life business because y'all need to be up in my personal life like that. But I'm gonna share a story. I have a cousin. He was married to his white woman. He's not married to her no more. But he was married to his white woman. I had spent Thanksgiving with him. And I forget the game was playing. I, I really got to remember the name of the game. But it was like you would pick things. And it was like you would get three. You, I think you would get like three items. And then it's like one you could give away, right? So let's say you got like, she got like a lemon of foil, Africa, and maybe, um... I forget the other thing, but let's just say it was, let's say water. How about that? Let's say water. But you got to give one of them away. And she gave Africa away. Bitch, you wouldn't have no children if it wasn't for Africa. I was so mad. I was, he, he ain't married to her no more. I was so mad. I said, I know we just playing a game, but that's how you feel. How about this? <laughs> I know we in America, but without Africa, your ass won't have no kids. How you gonna get Africa away? Over oh, motherfucking a lemon foil. Now get water, cause you need water to survive. But you gonna give away Africa? I was mad for real. It was a game. I gotta get the name of the game. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'll never forget it. Cause at that moment, that guy ain't married to her no more. Cause I was a fuck with her after that. I'm just telling y'all. Gave me flashbacks. <laughs> I'm gonna get Africa away. Let's keep going. Let's keep. Let's keep going. Y'all sending me money tonight. Thank you. Okay. Sarah, I don't know what Sarah, Sarah didn't even ask a question. Sarah didn't even ask a question. She said nine, she said 99, 99. Y'all some rich people. I told y'all I got rich cousins, y'all, because y'all be talking about big money all the time. So y'all rich. All right. Um, someone said, oh, Sailor, I got to Okay, we, he's going. Flynn Santana, you ready? Show me the room. Show me the room. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm I'm Hey, how you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so not used to it being inverted like this. Oh my god, you got a nose ring. What is that? Yes, thank you. Um, a little sip. I don't even know what it is. It's just some diamond stuff. I thought it was cute. I said, oh, we're gonna get it. I can't do it. Try it's to try okay. We can teach you. Oh, <laughs> What's your name, baby? My name is Therese, but I go by Slim Santana. Okay, you want me to call you Slim Santana? You can call me Slim, baby. Slim, sorry, is it is it um a name play off of the Santana, the the rapper? No, it is actually a play off of um Sin Santana, Erica Mena's ex girlfriend from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, okay, I'm um, familiar when you say Erica Mena's ex girlfriend and yeah. Joe Button's ex girlfriend and Joe Button's ex. Were they married? I thought they were married. Or uh, maybe they were married. They got a child together or something, right? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, so Slim Santana, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, um, where are you calling me from, honey? I am from South Carolina. Have you been here before? I have not. Actually, um, my sister watches you. I think she's actually watching right now because she wanted me to get on. Hey, uh, family members. Shout out to the family members that be telling their family members about me. So shout out to my cousins who tell their real family about <laughs> Kendra. I love you. Can I give All a right. shout out to my sister real quick, please? Yeah, shout out to my sister Dasha. I always watch you, Kendra. Been trying to get me on here for the past what four, five, six months. Ah, Period. Got me here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Slim, how old are you? I am twenty nine. Twenty nine. What you do for a living? Um, I have two jobs. Well, 
really more than two, but mainly two. I work at BMW um, at the plant, and I also work in retail at Spencer's. You work at retail what? At Spencer's. Retail at Spencer's. Yes. Uh, you don't have, do you have any kids? I do not. No kids. And what's your zodiac sign? A Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. So we got Slim, South Carolina, 29, no kids, Capricorn, BMW, also works at retail at Spencer. Now, Slim, who are you looking for tonight, baby? Um. Well, let me start off by saying, because I know I look very girly, I am actually non-binary. I was born male. Okay. So, uh, before so you have to take me, and then maybe some other people too. Yeah. What does non-binary mean? Non-binary means that I don't identify as male or female. Okay. The way that I like to say it is I'm a bad bitch and I look too good to just be a male or female. So I just choose to do both. Okay. You choose to be both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the, now nah, this could be an ignorant question. This could be. An ignorant no. Question. no so not. you obviously were born with a male body part, correct? Yes. So that is not a way to claim your sexuality because you were born with a male body part. What do you mean? Um, okay, because the, the natural sense is if you're born with the penis, you're a man. Right. And if you're born with the vagina, you're a woman. You're a woman. That's not um, true. Are you saying that that's not true? I'm not saying that that is not true because, yes, I do believe you're born with a penis, you're a man. If you're, um, yeah, and if you're born with the vagina, you're a woman. But um, just like how transgenders, because I have a lot of friends who are transgenders, change their body parts down there. And, I mean, I've seen what some of them look like. They look real. I guess they can identify as what they want to be. But um, as far as me, like, I don't get mad when people call me a guy or he, him, um, just because that's what I do have down there. But it's like, what do I present in my face? What do I present walking around? Okay. Well, so. thank you for the educational moment. <laughs> the one thing about my show is all people are accepted. And I love moments like these because there's some people who may – Never even have a conversation with a non-binary person. So right. thank you for the education. Thank you for the question. Now let's find you with somebody. So I need to know. I, I mean, man. Not, oh, okay, man. That's what I was going to say. Since you're non-binary, do you want, what do you desire? Um, The simplest way to put it, I like women. I love men. Okay. So, okay, so I'm, yeah. So I'm are you looking open for both? both? I am. I okay. actually, uh, another educational thing, if you want to call it that, I actually would want to marry a man and a woman. Okay, so you want to be in a poly situation with a man okay. and a woman? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get into it. So now, what kind of man or woman are you looking for? Um, As far as women, I actually like stud women, I will say. Um, or a woman who is a STEM. A STEM is a stud or femme who can do both. I am very attracted to that. Um, cause I mean, it's kind of like me. I can do man. I can do female. Um, as far as man, I like a man, a manly man. He can be a little girly, but as far as what I'm doing, nah, that's my job, bruh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what are your deal breakers? Um, as far as women, I really don't have a deal breaker. I mean, just a pretty female. Um, but as far as a man, hygiene is my number one deal breaker because men, for the most part, are not good with hygiene. Uh, brushing your teeth, taking a shower every day, um, wearing deodorant, just the smallest little things, washing your face. It doesn't even have to be like a full face regimen, but good hygiene. Good hygiene. Okay. Yeah. Should he or she look a certain way? Um, as far as females, no, I don't. I'm not too picky with females, but men, uh, not really just, oh God, this is going to sound bad, but just not overweight. Okay. Not um, overweight. Not yes. too big. What about money? Should he or she make a certain amount of money? As far as a female? No, because at the end of the day, I can take this wig and these nails off and I'm the man of the relationship. So no, baby, I got you. Um, but as far as a man, yeah, I make a lot of money. So at least 65 K a year for a man. Okay. So the female, you don't care because you're going to provide the guy right. though. He got to make at least 65 K. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the Kendra cam slim. 
<laughs> oh my god and i look so ugly because no i've been running errands today kendra girl you got me you, here. Running, you were running what was, what was you getting today slam what was you out in the world getting but queen realness <laughs> okay let me set up a ring light okay okay this. all right we see you oh turn around on him all right that's why your name is slim Okay. His real name is Slim, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, Slim. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? The last time I was intimate with someone was, I think, ten months ago. Okay. Was it a man or a woman? It was male. Male. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just curious. You don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was with a woman? Um, three years ago. Okay. So, do you think you really are sexually attracted to a woman? <laughs> Honestly, sexually, no. I, so I'm how gonna would that work Um, I am a person of emotions, and I'm like a sapiosexual, smart. So if you can have me emotionally, like sexually, that's nothing. That that can come. So would you be able to please her sexually? If they, I mean, I'm obviously that would be a want of hers. Trust and believe. Yes, I can. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop it right there. When um you don't have to answer, but you told me the last time you saw us like three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws that I have to work on. Um making time for myself because I work so much and I'm a people pleaser that I don't make time for me. Um, what's another thing I gotta work on? Really, that's it. Cause I'm lit, baby. I did I ask you what was your last relationship? You did not. My was last, last relationship? relationship was actually five years ago. Five years ago, and it was a man. It was. Okay. All right. Um. And what are? Give me your three flaws, right? Um. I only gave you one because I'm lit, baby. <laughs> I only got one flaw, really. You only got one flaw. Don't play with it. You sure? Because you know I got a saying. When you only name one flaw, that means if you can't name three flaws, that is a flaw. Okay, we can go ahead and add that one then. <laughs> I mean, because I'm such a people pleaser, the only thing I don't do is make time for myself. I. Okay. All right. Well, then the last question here we go. Why would a woman or a man be lucky to be with you? Because I am a provider. I can provide for a woman like how a man should, and for a man, I cook, I clean, like today I was doing all types of stuff, sweeping out my garage, cooking. Right now I was doing laundry. I just finished cleaning up. Like, okay. trust, I make the money. So it's not like we can't go out on trips. Like I can't spoil you because I can do that just as much as I want to be spoiled. So if you go out, uh, so with the female, you said you're going to provide. So if y'all go out on trips, you're paying for her flight and everything? Yeah. Non-binary, not ladies. Maybe consider it, cause he mm -hmm. offering everything you tell me you want. He gonna play for the flag. I mean, he might, he might, you, you might, he might wear your wig, but that's okay. You don't care. Right? <laughs> no, might, I'm a, I, I might. I mean, no, I'll buy my own wigs. I'm gonna buy her a wig too. Okay, okay. He, he gonna, <laughs> girl, he gonna buy you a wig too. Girl, and trust me, I don't get cheap ones. I don't uh, get cheap ones. You know, he gonna buy you expensive wig. He gonna play all the things you be telling me you want these men to do. Now, I just got to deal with he going to wear a wig, too. That's all you got to deal with. And a man going to be in the room with us. But, hey, you getting two. You getting two. You getting two. You getting two, ladies. What can I say? You getting two. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Slim. Let's do it. How can I can reach out to you. Um, Y'all can reach out to me on Instagram at I am underscore Slim Santana. Slim Santana. All right, baby, you keep me posted, babe. Thank you, baby. I will. Right. Bye. Bye. Um, okay, Sarah did have a question. Let me read her question because she spent $100 to say this question. She said, can you get some Asian men on here? We love you, Kendra. Hey, Sarah. Sarah, I don't know if I've ever had an Asian guy on my show. Maybe one. Um, I guess I, I mean, when, I, when I start traveling, I'll make sure I definitely go to China. Um. And try to find y'all some Asian men. See, I'm always just trying to find men, period. You understand? Know I'd be out in these streets, like walking up to men who I feel fit y'all description. I'd be like, you single? What you do? I got a dating app. You know, I got women looking for y'all. I told y'all this, and I haven't posted a video yet. Um, 
last week I was working out and I stumbled upon NFL, literally they were NFL players and they were walking too. I was in the Santa Monica Sears and they was walking, there was a group of them. They played for all different teams. And I was like, see ladies, get your ass in the gym. The men be in the gym. They be in the gym. All right, we gotta go though. We gotta go. I love y'all so much. Um, I'll see y'all Wednesday and have a good night. Bye everyone. Sorry if I didn't get to